it's difficult to actually it's difficult to compare the price with the older with the new price. But when uh, if I try to compare with the, the the actual currency, if a normal comic book book costs one euro, the manga costs three euros. It was so expensive. This edition is in the wrong side. If you read that a normal, not in the occidental side, not in the oriental side. But for someone like me in 1993, I stay in the university in that moment, Madrid. My first manga was Crying Freeman, the second was May, and the third was that. I saw uh, Akira in Japanese with Chinese subtitles, the first time in 1990. Uh, but I read the manga, I think in 1995, when the, the same company that this publishes this offer a nice version in some way. And for me, Alita was a shock because I always believe that they are not yearned from the heroes. Normally in the history, the heroes are like me, a boy, man, whatever. But I believe that there are some exceptions, but normally the heroes are normally a man. And Alita, no, Alita is a totally different way. Um, after many years, I have the choice to read the manga in the best way. Now I have the last version, Polansha. I know it's expensive, but it's probably the best version, actually. Um, because for my job, um, because I like, I suppose, who, are, who of you are actually in the university? Do you know something about Joseph Campbell? You know Star Wars, and you know Mad Max. The concept of the hero in Mad Max and the concept of the hero in Star Wars is the concept of this, this guy, Joseph Campbell. He's probably the most influenced guy about the contemporary mythology. Everything about the Star Wars, the base is Campbell, Campbell, and Campbell. Mm, there are a big documentary made in Skywalk Ranch with Joseph Campbell, a journalist, and George Lucas. And George Miller do exactly the same when he created Max. And because I like this, because I study, because I, part of my life is inside books, I do this. Well, the, origin, the original, you know that the original manga, the name is Gun, no Alita. Alita is the English version that made from this when he translated the original manga. And originally, the manga was published between 1990 to 1995. In the Blu-ray special version of the Alita, Battle Angel Alita movie, there are a nice interview with Yukito Kishiro. And he said that when he made the original Alita manga, he never, he never received any letter from the fans. was when the editorial finished to publish the first story when he received a lot and with, when, when she un he understand that he made something really, really nice. I suppose that, especially in, in place like here, where one thing for me was in some way a shock when I moved to Finland. My first year was in, in the university. The, my university was all for, for, for girls. There are only five boys, three, three teachers, a college, and me. We eat in the same table all day, because every day, because around is only women. And this society, for this society, Lara Croft is a, or Alita is quite easy to understand that from my society, Spanish society in the 90s, and in the beginning of the 20th century, and actually there are a big different between man and woman, outside and inside the, the, the university and the real world. And when Kishiro published Alita, Alita in some way was too early. It's a 21st century hero made in the 20th century, before the thing changed in the best way. This is the right order. I take this from the Kodansha. 
actual the Kodansha new uh, edition in English or in Japanese because there are this changed a lot when he this was the not the right choice to move the Jap the manga Japan to Occidental was the only and was not the best. This made a horrible things, a horrible translation. Alita was one example. But was the only choice. Now you have different choice and unfortunately fortunately the scene changed that in the nineties the situation was really horrible. The only way is you if you understand French, you have the second choice. Because the French edition, no, the French edition are really nice if you compare, but the American edition was horrible, like the Spanish, because the Spanish version translate the English to Spanish. And the problem in the English version, you see in the Spanish version, exactly the same. The French, no. French are more serious when they do things about comic or band dessiné, whatever you want to ask, and he creates something much better. But in my case, I only read, for example, I read Alita in French in the beginning of the 20th century, 21st century, and when I read and say what happened, because I read that different, even they change. This change, the, the name, you don't know if the, the character is Alita, Gali, Yoko, or whatever. At last, it's like in the anime, in the, in the, in the anime, fair question. Do you see the movie? And do you see the anime? The anime of the 54 minutes. The, the English version, they change the name. But they change the name they want. They call the character Gali, but they, they call the, the flying city Salem. But in the Beast Comet, no, the Beast Comet is Alita, but Tifares. They change everything if they want. Uh huh, but I'm in this. Ah, sorry. Character, I put Yoko, because it's in Japanese, Gali 99, when he began to play rollerball, Alita, ta 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 ta, and Makaku is a name originally in, in Japanese, Chains, and in the new version of the, in the, t in the movie version, they decide to use the second name. And this thing over half all these, because there are all these different versions, I put all these different versions. Uh, you see, this is the same cover I showed you, and this is the main character. Uh, in the same interview I, I saw yesterday, um, Kishiro say that he loved Terminator. Terminator was a movie that now everyone told about Terminator, but Terminator was not a big hit in the 80s, because the people don't understand. The problem with all these things are uh, now it's easy because you have everything in the same place. But in the 80s and in the 90s, no, and when I saw Terminator, for me it was a shock, but I began to hear about Terminator 10 years after. In 1981, 1982, when Terminator 2 was in the movie theater, I met many, many people in the premiere of Terminator 2 in 1992 that they don't, see, they don't know anything about the first Terminator. They come to see the second because someone spent a lot of money to promote. And that's the thing. And Terminator was the first movie that offered a real possibility that one society when there are human and cyborg. In the, not in the right way, and because Skynet is not a bad guy in some way. Skynet only do the thing if you the thing he understands is much better for him. And the war between men, the humanity between cyborgs is the first time someone show in a movie in a movie in the right way. And for me, Kishiro is the second person that show what happened if in one society you live with cyborgs. They are not much more, they are not worse or best like us, they are different. But it's possible to live. And you see, especially in the first history, there are many things of Terminator in Alita. Uh -huh. This is the serious 
part of this master class. All these words are from Campbell. I take from this and I take from one book about the Star Wars, the magic of the myth, the book that the curator of the exhibition made in the Smithsonian Museum in 1997 did about the relation between the classical heroes, the classical mythology, and how George Lucas transformed to create the Star Wars mythology. And for example, this is something that Campbell said. When you create something, you draw something, you write something, you do something different, you create something new. It's like a translation. If you get the Alita in Spanish and translate to Finnish, this translation is different. You use some material, but you don't use exactly the same word. You need to do something different. In that moment, you create something. And Kishiro creates some mythology. Kishiro is like a normal Japanese guy. I met with a few in my life, or because this is my professional life, and normally they don't say too much. They don't talk about the influence. They talk about, for example, Terminator, because James Cameron was the guy that called him to say, I want to do Alita. But normally they don't talk about anything. They only talk about the main influence, the main influence in a Japanese artist is Osamu Tezuka, because without Tezuka, they are not, without Tezuka, I am not here, and probably you are not here too, because Tezuka was the guy that created all the base from the manga and the anime. But the, he probably read something about this because he liked Star Wars, like every guy with the same age, but he probably don't know exactly why he do these things or not. This is the base. He create a different mythology. And I try to show this because for example, there are in, in many cases when you say, what do you like? Manga or anime. And many people say, this is not a serious topic. No, it's not right. You need to use things like that. This, is, this book is from, the, from one guy that, I studied this book in the, new, in the university. I have a exam, to pass two exams about Joseph Campbell. And these things are from this book. I mean, you see Alita, Alita, the base of Alita is that. Manga is like everything in that life. If you say in the best way possible, you need to be serious and you need to use tools like this. Uh -huh. This is something, this is one interview that one uh, American newspaper published in 1993 and is when he explained why he likes Star Wars. I suppose if you are so old like me, you know the G.I. Joe figures, the big G.I. Joe figures, not the smaller, because Kishiro and I, Kishiro born in 19, 1967, and I, I born in 1966. We play each and do the same thing in different countries, but probably I play with the same toys like Kishiro and he eat the same thing I eat when I was younger. And it's, I choose this because it's one you understand that behind one creator there are normal things like you. And he's, in this, in this interview, he speaks much more because the interview original, original was made in Japanese, someone translated in English, and he speaks much more because he's made in Japan, and he's more open in some way that when he moved outside and talked with, is Kishiro here? Probably say, yes, no, maybe, and not too much, even if, you understand Japanese because they are comfortable in Japan. Outside Japan, I think the only person outside Japan is quite nice is Katsuhiro Tomo because Otomo was the first that moved to United States to promote Akira in 1985. That was probably one because I don't know too many Japanese artists that moved to the Occidental world to present. Even in France, that France is a different I told you a different approach to, they don't like to go out. The hero. Da, 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 da. This is the theme. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I choose this. I 
understand that this in some way so serious from a normal master master class, but this is the thing. The hero is someone that in some moment they need to do something different, they need to move to some place to an art, to live a different a different life, and to accept things that he never or she never believed is possible to do. Like in the case of Alita. The hero from I think I think exactly the same. And the journey, everything from Campbell is a journey. If you, I use the example of Star Wars because it's the more common thing. Uh, Luke lives in the middle of nowhere, in a planet outside everything. He met with someone, in that case Obi-Wan, and they need to move to another place to be a different person. But in some way, Luke is the hero because he is the son of another hero in some way, but that's exactly the same. And there are, when you move, it's when you decide with 16, 17 years old, you decide to leave your parent home to go to the university. It's exactly the same idea. And it's not easy, because you stay in your parent home, you are very comfortable, you know where everything is. And if you need something, you call your mom or your dad or your big brother, your big sister. When you go to a university school with 200 guys, you only have in your, in my case, I only have one desk, one chair, one table, and one place to put my, my, my clothes. If I go, I need to go, I need to go outside to my room to go to the bathroom. If I need to want to eat something, I need to go outside to my room. Everything is outside, it's a new world. I need to forget in some way that how nice is in my room, I need to be a different person. This is exactly the same that Campbell said. The problem is you need to adapt to in that case, but it's exactly the same example. And I think many of you understand because even you have the choice to go out and move to one place to another and to be a hero in some way because live alone is a task. It's, a, it's quite difficult sometimes. I choose the battle angel because he's, for example, in that case, Alita do things that he, she have no idea what to do. She used a uh, combat training, panzer course that for her is, I don't know what I know to do this. The thing that Kishiro changed in some ways, Alita have not any record of the, her previous life, and it's evil and she understands what happened with her. But in some way, the idea of Campbell to the travel, to the, the initiation, everything is exactly the same. This is the only topic that Campbell normally don't put inside the book. But the rest is exactly the same like this. Uh -huh. uh, the thing is, the cultural adventures. In uh, Star Wars, it's exactly the same. In Mad Max, no. Mad Max is a different approach. Max is a normal guy, police, with a family, and he don't want to change a lot. The, and the scenario changed. The scenario pushed him to do things, and when he finished, the first movie, he's not the, the, norm, the, the same person. And he's not a hero, because in the second movie, in the Mad Max 2, that Kishiro told about Mad Max 2, in the second movie when uh, the people in, the, in that place decide to move, the people say, when you say, hey, you, need, you want to move, talk with me. And the people say, thank you, and say, no thanks me, because I have any choice. He's not a normal hero, but in some way, the thing is, Max moved around the desert to do exactly the same thing. And in the, in a, in the Alita world, she did things that changed in a, in a way. It's not like Luke. Luke wants to be in some way a hero because from him, it's the best way to forget the die of the... the uh, Uncle Ben and Aunt, May and Aunt Mary and 
forget the planet. For Alita, no. Alita don't want to be a hero. Alita want to be someone because he have, she has not any record of previous life. And for Max, they have any choice. At last, he is a hero because the rest of the people are too afraid to do something against the bad guys. In, and Mad Max 2 is the best example of that. To call to adventure, in that case is when Alita decides he think about where Ido find my new legs and my new arms. And when Alita understand that Ido do strange things, he decides to go out and try to find the answer outside. In some ways, when Alita begin to be a hero, is when he accepts the call of adventure. For her, it's not that, no, it's not a classical adventure, but it's an adventure too. Uh-huh. Other things. In Star Wars, Obi-Wan is a wizard. Uh, in The Lord of the Ring, you know, because everyone knows The Lord of the Ring, all the books, <laughs> because it's something like I appreciate too much. Gandalf and in Alita is Ido Daisuke. Like in other things, Kishiro changed, but in some way, in the first two issues, two chapters, Ido is the wizard that teach Alita to be someone. And Alita tried to be like Ido. Like Luke tried to be them. In some way, they choose a different path, but it's exactly the same. This is the wizard in some way, and this is how he is a mentor, is a teacher, and is a father figure. Alita put over the table things so complicated, like for example, to be a father. And it's something in that case I understand very well because my boy is two months and one week, and every second I learn something because I have no idea what to do with this small creature with 60 centimeters over me. And Ido is exactly the same. Ido tried to learn. There are something that is different. This is the last volume of the new version of Kodansha. And there are a few uh, stories. And Holy Night is a really nice story. It's before Ido made with Alita. In that volume is when you know that uh, Alita is the name of Ido's cat, Ido's cat, so he has a small cat named Alita, and it's when you understand much better what happened between Ido and Alita, and before that with Carol. Ido is someone from another world that moves to this horrible world when Alita is all the Alita stories make, and he wants to be a father in some way. And here, and in the normal, the first history is when you understand much better all these things. And this is the second body that Ido put to Al transplant to Alita, the berserk berserker body, and in the Joseph Campbell world, this is exactly the same, new body, amulet or whatever. In that case, uh, Kishiro used the old concept, a new body. Normally, in the, for example, in Star Wars, is a, a laser saber, in Mad Max, is a new car, in the Lone Ring, is a different weapons, but the last is always the same. In that case, then the amulet from Alita is this body, because with this body, Alita is battle angel. If someone, I, I know everything look at me like, if someone want to say something, please. Because I told you in advance, this is not a university masterclass. This is someone I like, Alita, try to explain something. But if you want to say something, please feel free. Thank you. 
No, he, he accepted in the beginning, he, the, the, I told, I tried to explain that he, when she stay with Ido, when Ido find in the, the with all the garbage, for Alita, Ido is the only reference. When you see the, all the story, you understand, no, Alita have memories. For example, you, the first real memory of Alita is in the four volume in the middle of the, of the Rural Ball Lake. It's when someone called her Yoko and it's when he began to understand. But I tried to adapt the Campbell word to Alita to explain that even in a manga like Alita, there are a serious topic behind this. I say because Alita has no memory, he do things that know how because they are inside her. If you read all the, the Campbell books, they are a space from this. Sometimes say the call to the adventure is not necessary because they find to someone. It's because inside the hero, inside the person, there's something that they move to do, like in Alita. But I need to <laughs> organize because it's not I need no 45 minutes. I need 45 days too because all these topics are so complicated. You are right. But in that case, in the beginning, in the, in the first volume, Ido is the referent, and Alita go behind him. But in some moment, Alita understand that he, she don't need to be like, because Alita have background, and Alita have inside her this, or Gali, this consent, this memory, this training, whatever you want to ask. That is the thing I want to explain, but it's right you say. And this is when the Ido told about where he found the new body. And it's one, the, one was the moment that Kishiro told about the war, because the big topic that anyone talk but it's in the Japanese society after August 1945 is the war. That's the thing. It's impossible to do something in Japan and not to talk about, and not to be afraid. Godzilla was in the movie theater a few months ago, and the shadow behind Godzilla is exactly the same. This horrible day that someone saw atomic bomb over one Japanese when the time stopped and everything changed. And this is when Kishiro do exactly the same. They told about a horrible war and they told that Ido say that this war is horrible. In some way, this is against Terminator. It's against Skynet. Because Skynet created cyber to destroy the, 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 the humanity. And this is, in some way, Kishiro say, no, I don't like this and they use this page, because they are, they are not m too much reference about the previous war and things like that. This is the other thing. Uh, for example, in, in Star Wars, the, the trash compactor is the underworld, uh, and they are in Lord of the Ring, in Mad Max is the, the desert, and in that case, uh, the underworld is when the hero begins to fight and normally the labyrinth is the thing and inside the labyrinth they are a monster and this is the underworld when he met with Makaku and this is the first time she met with the monster and this is the big influence that Kishiro don't tell but you see that are exactly the same this is the Saturno in my language, is Saturno devorando a su hijo, or Saturn, wherever you want. This is a Francisco de Goya paint. Ah, the black painted. That was made over the wall and removed to put in a museum. And it's exactly, it's, this is the monster 
that every society has included my society. And this is exact, this is a thing, when you stay alone in the sad way, in the labyrinth, you need to fight against your own monster, your, against your, fan, your ghost. For that reason, it's when Alita, before, he, before she made and fight against this monster, he begin to be a human, and he begin to remember something about this, about about her past. The scenario is like the time machine. There are rich people up, the Eloy, and poor people down, the Morro. On that case, the people outside in silent, and the rest of the people down in the garbage. And this is a Exactly. This idea is behind Campbell, behind everything, because the society normally they are is always the same. There are a few people here, and all the the rest will live down the stairs, down. And he used this. And silent is the best choice to show. And it's a really nice. And this is when he explained that why he why he create silent. And when he say that he likes to live in a place of Mad Max, I don't agree with Kishiro, but everyone has different approach. And this is the Mad Max 2. This is the Papagayo. This is a crazy guy from Mad Max. You see behind the, and was the second, um, for me, the best movie from Mad Max. When Max is, a real hero, but because he has any choice to do. And I, I want to show these things because it's, in some way, Kishiro told about his influence. And Mad Max, you see Alita, you see a few things with Mad Max. Uh, I see exactly when you move, you see things and you need to learn, and you know much more about you. That's the thing. And in Alita, the new maze, the new labyrinth is the rollerball. Because if you want to survive, you need to be much more than the normal guy. And you need to fight against yourself. This is something that Kishiro is you see, if you read this part in a, a Joseph Campbell book, it's exactly, exactly, exactly the same. And probably you have no idea, and you see, for that reason, the other name is 99. And anyone know this movie? Well, the roller ball is the base of the motor ball, in a sense. It's exactly the same idea. It's exactly the same scenario. It's exactly the same horrible world. This movie was made in, in the 70s, before internet, before Facebook, before Instagram, before everything. But unfortunately, the situation don't change too much. Probably they are, actually they are more similar than, and the movie was in theory made in 2018, one year after this. This is the Japanese poster, and the idea is exactly the same. It's a place when a few guys move, like in Alita, fight and die. But the thing is, and there are a big companies that use the rural ball to, like for example, in Spain, the big companies, even the government use the football to do something horrible that the people forget the problems because actually today is Sunday. I don't know how many football match is possible to see in a TV, maybe 10 different, in 10 different times, in 10 different place. And during two days, well, no, they are, it's not that here, they are football in my country every day. 
Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, every day you have one, two, three, four. And the people only talk normally about that. The, the idea behind the rubber ball is exactly the same. The people only talk about these horrible games because the big companies use all the material to promote roller ball, like in Alita, promote the motor ball. But in one, in that space, Ido explained exactly the same idea. He said that the people from Salem using the motor ball to alienate, to do something that from the people from the garbage forget that what horrible situation I am. And Hishido don't talk about rural ball, but the influence is quite, quite easy to see. And this is when he explained what happened with the anime. The anime, I told the anime long time ago, and I, I, I saw the anime long time ago, I have the Spanish version, and I saw yesterday. The anime is not bad, the thing they change, they want. They change things, they change names, they change situation, they put something, they kill people that in the manga alive, they do things, crazy things. They only make two overs or two episodes, wherever. And this is when he explained that he tried to help, but Madhouse and the rest of the people don't do anything. They do whatever they want. This is the Spanish cover from the video. And this is the guy that it's possible to find in internet. You go to YouTube and put gun and you find the English version and it's less than one hour. If you want to see, please go. And this is when he told about, because he, in the beginning, Yukito, Yukito Kishiro, he want to be a, a, a director. Uh, he want to make movies, but made this kind of movies in the 70s, in the 80s was quite difficult. Cameron made, uh, James Cameron made Terminator and he need to finish in one moment because he have no money to make, to buy more material to make, to, to make ma more time. Because the, the budget is, is like in some way like George Lucas. And he explained and he said that he like to, if he had the opportunity, he wanted to talk with Verhoeven. In that moment, Verhoeven made Robocop or Rafael Malkahi when he made Highlander. At last was Robert Rodriguez. In the beginning was Car uh, jo James Cameron. At the last was Rodriguez. But because this was made in the 90s, it's good to see that even in that moment, for him it's good that someone added the movie to the movie theater. And this is the movie version. I put the Japanese version of the Chirazi poster. This is the second. And this is my favorite poster because for me it's a more nicer poster of the film. And this is, I finish with this because uh, when he finished to make Alita, uh, he decided to stay one year without, not, not, he not need to work, but he began to do things. And he said that one influence was this. I suppose someone read The Dark Knight. That was made from Cam Miller in the 80s. This year is the 80th anniversary of Batman. Uh, I am one guy that don't really, really like The Dark Knight. I like, but for me, it's not the best Batman story. But I understand that thing like that changed a lot because it's the first time or one of the first time that Batman is not a really, really nice guy. Batman is a boy that in one moment he saw that someone killed sparring in front of him and he won revenge. He dressed this costume because he want to put in, some, in front of someone and say, I want to be afraid of me. It's not a psycho, but in some way. Frank Miller have any problem to show and because uh, 
to serialize I show the panel with the joker and uh, I think in 1997 Kishiro draw one small series was in some way a copy of the dark knight I suppose you if you begin to read a little you find a different influence I choose this because in some way I believe it's the best for me it's the best choice to show that behind every story there are many things not only the real history if you have the choice please read this version I suppose that the public libraries have I don't know when but here in Finland it's easy to find this in the public library I hope this not to be so academic thank you from spend the 45 minutes um, if you don't see the movie please see because the movie is pretty nice and behind the movie is the real spirit of Alito you lose something because you need to understand that this is one format the movie is a different format but it's not so horrible that many things and please because it's my job when I write something about movies I don't want to destroy anything I want to provoke that you go to see the movie you don't spend too much time reading things in Facebook or whatever if you want to see something go to see if you want to read something go to read and if you want to play with something play with that is the idea. You don't need that anyone change your taste. You don't need to anyone move. I only show this. If after that someone read the Campbell book, I am very happy. If someone wants to read all this, I am happy too. If someone wants to read The Dark Knight, if someone wants to see the anime, please feel free. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of the con, and I hope we will meet the, last, the next year. Anyone have all or I know you don't have.